Hello, Roxy fans! Hope you guys are ready to rock out to some poison types, also known as half of Kanto's Pokedex. Okay, that's not entirely true, but there are a lot of poison types over there for some reason. Let's get this Venomous concert started! Number 10 is Krabby. In this house, we like sentient trash bags. It's just really cute. And it has bunny-like ears and a derpy-looking face with big teeth. But mostly I can relate to Trubbish because I am also trash. Number 9 is Nidoran. One of the reasons I like Nidoran is because they have like a really solid design. They look like they're based on real animals. You can't really tell what animal that is. Like, is it a bunny, a porcupine, a baby rhino, or is it a horse? They just look really believable as living creatures, and that's really neat. I think the design is just really solid. Moving on to number 8, Dragalgy. The sea dragons have always been just so fascinating to me. They're some of the coolest looking creatures on earth, and I was always just dying to get one as a Pokemon. And then we got one in Gen 6, and I was not disappointed, I really liked it. So after seeing it, I just wanted to immediately add it to my team. But I was playing X, and it only appears in Y. And yet Y is the question, why does this always happen to me? And I didn't have like friends to trade with, so I didn't even get one until ages after the games were out. But it's still a really cool Pokemon. And number 7 is Ivysaur. This Bulbasaur 2.0 is a perfect middle stage. It has a cute face, it's tough looking, it's got a cute flower and it's got tiny adorable fangs. So basically Ivysaur looks tougher than a Bulbasaur, but it's cuter than a Venusaur. And that's like the perfect balance for a middle stage and what all middle stages should be, but a lot of them fail to be. But Ivysaur is nailing it. Perfect Pokemon. Number 6 is Poipole. I know the reason I like it is because the design reminds me of an experiment in the Lilo and Stitch universe, which just happens to be one of my favorite Disney movies. And in turn, one of the reasons I like Lilo and Stitch is because it reminds me of Pokemon. So the circle has been completed. It has been drawn by Poipol. And we're now at a halfway point with number 5, and it's Crobat. I know I'm in a minority here, but I've never ever been annoyed by Subat. Before all the memes, it would never even have crossed my mind that anyone could find Subat annoying. Because I like bats, and I think they're really cute. And I think Crobat is really cool. And it even evolves into Crobat because it loves you so much, how can you not like it? You're all wrong if you dislike Subat. Subat is a great Pokemon. Okay, number four. Salasso. I was first introduced to Salasso in Kiawa's trial, and my first thought was like, <laughs> Oh, that's hot. That's hot. Then I spent way too much time trying to find a female Salandit because for some reason they were all males, and it took ages. I have the worst luck ever. It took me like at least an hour to find one female. But I got her in the end, and she was glorious and beautiful, and it was all worth it. And we're moving on to the top 3 poison type Pokemon. And number 3, the bronze place position. What's it called? Anyway, it's Gengar. Does anyone else pretty much forget that Gengar is poison type? I always forget about it, because it's the first ghost Pokemon, you know? But me having a terrible memory doesn't stop it from actually being a poison type, so that makes it qualified for this list. Even though half of the time I seriously think it's like a pure ghost type. And that's just me being dumb. And Gengar is really cool. Number 2, the silver place goes to Vileplume. And I know, cognitively in my brain, I know that Vileplume is a Rafflesia flower, but I've always associated it with Amanita mushrooms, I'm not sure if that's how you say it, but the, these mushrooms that are on the screen. So in my head, it's a mushroom Pokemon. But either way, it's a super cute Pokemon. And even though I'm usually pretty bored with Kanto Pokemon, to be honest, seeing a cute Vileplume makes me smile because it's 
just adorable. And before we move on to number one, we have a special mention. And this time it's a little unmuck, because I like the rainbow thingy it's got going on. And Arbok, because I really like snakes. And number one, the golden first place award goes to Rose Raid. Roselia was one of my favorite Pokemon in Hoenn, and then Sinnoh came out and gave us this goddess of a Pokemon. Like the face mask and the cape just kind of make it look like a superhero, and it's just beautiful. It has a great shiny, which happens to be one of my oldest shiny Pokemon that I ever caught on my original copy of Sapphire. And now, of course, it's evolved into a Roserade. And it's so beautiful. And that's all, folks. Hope you enjoyed the concert. Thanks for watching. Don't drink poison. Bye.